Hello everybody, welcome to chemistry concept and today we'll be discussing about how to find out the bond order and the magnetic property of a molecule within a second. So generally how you used to find out the bond order. So for to find out the bond order we use the our general mathematical formula is that bond order is equal to half of number of electron in bonding molecular orbitals minus the anti-bonding molecular orbitals electrons. So we used to get the bond order and if the electrons in HOMO are filled fully filled or pair then it is diamagnetic else it is paramagnetic. So that is the traditional way to find out the molecular uh, this magnetic property and our bond order. But here I will tell you a trick by using that within a second you can tell the bond order and the magnetic property. So for that I will make a table is the total number of electrons number of electrons in molecule and here we having bond order. So well I will write the table of 2 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, uh, 16, 18 and 12 or oh, 20 and the respective bond order will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry it's 2 not 4 my mistake sorry it's 2, it's 1 here and it's 0. So this is the total number of electron here and this is the bond order, respective bond order you have to just remember. You can remember like that 1 0, 1 0, 1 2 3 then again it is decreasing 3 2 1 0. Suppose we having a molecule C2. So in C2 total number of electron electron is how much? 6 plus 6 12. 6 electron plus this carbon and 6 electron from another carbon. So that is total number of electron is 12. So see in table this is the total number of electron is 12. So the respective bond order is 2. So in C2 this is the structure. Okay. So if remember if the total number of electron so if total number of electron is even then molecule will be even then it will be diamagnetic cut it Ex except except total number of electrons when is 18 or no it, when it is 10 or 16 in that case that will be not a diamagnetic in that case it will be paramagnetic so whenever uh, the total number of electron is even that molecule will be a diamagnetic and except when the total number of electron is 10, 16, then it will be a paramagnetic. So when we have the odd electrons, uh, so suppose uh, if total number of electrons are odd, then molecule will be paramagnetic got it so this is the simple trick that you can use it and you can find it out within a second okay so we will take one more example suppose I'm going to take another example like O2 so in O2 the total number of electron is 8 plus 8 this is 16 so when we are going to see in that table so the respective bond order will be 2. So the bond order is 
2 here and suppose for uh, we having n molecule so total number of electron is how much 15 so in that table there will be in, there is no 15 electrons so what you have to do you have to take the average of you know the 15 is the average of 14 plus 16 by 2 so it's 15 so same you have to do respective bond order for 14 is 3 and for 16 is 2 so take the average of this so you will get the bond order 2.5 so in nitrogen oxide the bond order is 2.5 okay and suppose you having a molecule like O2 plus so what will happen total number of electron will decrease by 1 so in oxy O2 the total number of electron is 16 but in O2 it will be 15 so what will happen when we, we have seen that in nitrogen oxide the total number of electron is 15 and the bond order is 2.5 same will be getting here the bond order will be 2.5 so by adding uh, by decreasing one electron the bond order is going to decrease here suppose you are going to add one electron in O2 so we will get what O2 minus the total number of electron will be 17 so 17 is not there in tables of that we have to take the average of 16 plus 18 by 2 respective bond order will be for 16 it's 2 and for 18 it's 1 so the average is 1.5 so the in O2 minus bond order is 1.5 so you can see when you are going to add electron the bond order is going to decrease by more when you are going to decrease the electron then bond order is decreasing by this so this is the bond order like this you have to find the bond order using this formula this is very easy way to find out the bond order and the magnetic behavior of any molecule thank you for watching videos if you have any doubt please put in comment box thank you